by here the association between two or more than two variables uh, because uh, to observe association is very important in research. Uh, we have some basic measures uh, later on in the next video. I will explain that uh, uh, how we can calculate covariance correlation or uh, chi-square uh, to measure the association between variables. Uh, the first measure is uh, covariance. Uh, covariance is basically uh, it tells the relationship between two variables, whether it is uh, positive, negative or uh, zero. So uh, when we standardize this covariance, uh, then it is called correlation. Uh, it value ranges between minus one to plus one. Uh, correlation tells us the extent of relationship between two variables like uh, weak, very weak, strong, very strong, moderate, perfect. So uh, we have seven different categories under correlation. On the other hand, uh, we have another measure like uh, 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 Spearman's rack correlation. Uh, in this uh, uh, correlation, we also observe uh, the correlation, uh, sorry, the relationship uh, between two variables. Uh, first, in spare um, and rank correlation, we rank different variables. Uh, so it handles outlier because it ranks the values and uh, it is also used for uh, nonlinear data. Uh, then we have uh, kind of uh, rank correlation coefficient. Uh, if the data is not normally distributed and it is non-linear, then we use uh, this uh, standard rank correlation. Then uh, we have a uh, phi coefficient. Uh, this uh, is the association between the variable. variable. Uh, uh, next is uh, our point uh, by serial correlation. Uh, it also measures uh, the relationship uh, between uh, two variables. The one variable is dichotomous and the other variable is continuous. Uh, it is basically uh, some variation of piece and correlation. And it is used for uh, to measure the relationship between mixed variables. Uh, then we have the uh, Kramer's V. Uh, it measures the relationship between two uh, categorical uh, variables, uh, taking uh, into account of a number of categories and the sample size. Uh, it values ranges between zero and one. Uh, then we have a contingency coefficient. Uh, it also used to measure the association between two category variables. And uh, it also accounts for the size of contingency table as well. Again, its value also lies between 0 and 1. Uh, then we have Cohen's kappa. It also measures uh, the agreement between two raters or methods for categorical data. Uh, uh, it values ranges between minus 1 to 1. Uh, then we have uh, Thales U measure. Uh, it also used to measure the relationship between categorical and data. And uh, it also taking into account the entropy or uncertainty in each variable. And its values also ranges between 0 and 1. Uh, then we have Kraska's uh, measure. It basically measures the situation between two ordinal variables. And it, uh, it, values, uh, sorry, it uh, ranges from minus 1 to 1. Uh, then the third category, we have Kapulas. Uh, Kapulas basically enables the modeling of nonlinear and non constant correlation relationship. Uh, it provides a framework for modeling the dependence structure between multiple variables, including nonlinear and symmetric relationship. And it is also used to study the tail of the uh, distribution. Then Regression, you all know the regression. Regression, uh, regression tells us the cause and effect relationship. It also tells us the relationship uh, amongst different variables as well. Uh, 
like IV, the relationship of IV is with DV. Uh, to test the independency between two variables, whether the two variables are associated with our, uh, each other, or it is totally independent, uh, then we also use chi-square variable. Uh, then at higher level, we uh, study the co-integration. Uh, co-integration can be used to analyze the long-term relationship uh, between variables. Uh, it basically describes the relationship between non-stationary time series that share a common stochastic trend. Uh, to observe this long-term relationship, other factors such as uh, direction of causality, strength of the relationship, and presence of shocks or outliers should also be uh, taken into account while studying co-integration. Uh, so all these are uh, different measures of association and uh, I will explain some calculation uh, in Excel as well as how we can calculate it manually and uh, with the help of software as well uh, in my uh, next video. Thank you very much for watching this video.